So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com, and if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. Now, straight up, the upcoming Team of the Week, I think has potential to be good, but I don't know if it'll be too strong. I've got a couple of high-rated options that EA could go for, but with Team the Year around the corner, I don't know how bothered EA are going to be to try and force some high rated players in. So we're just going to have to wait to see what happens on Wednesday. But um, you guys know the drill. In the comments below, I want to hear from you. Who do you think will be getting an inform in the upcoming team of the week? And also, if you could leave a like rating on the video, that would be very much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get straight into things now. So for goalkeepers, I have gone for Leo Shotstopper Mike, who, um, he, look, he made four saves and his team won 3-2. So just off the basis of just looking at that, I'm not confident in this pick, but he got an 8 match rating from the keep, and that's why I've chosen to include him. I'll be honest, I haven't seen the game, and I haven't had a chance to actually look at the highlights because it's been a pretty busy weekend. So I'm going to trust that the keep know what they're doing. They gave him an 8, and that's why I'm going to back this pick. The other goalkeeper is uh, Kakir. Sakir, I'm not sure how to say his name, but he made six saves and kept clean sheet in a 1-0 win for his side, so where he could be the second choice goalkeeper. There's actually quite a few goalkeeper candidates for the upcoming team of the week, but a lot of them are silver, so because of that, I was a bit unsure about picking them, so I've opted for a gold choice instead with this guy. On the first page of defenders, we actually have two potential fullback options. We'll start by talking about Zhao Cancelo. Now, this is one of them ones that I don't have, like, you know, a lot of confidence in, but I'm going for it. Uh, one reason is due to lack of options, and the other reason is because he got man of the match in Manchester City's 2-0 win against Newcastle. Now, it wasn't, like, a ridiculously good performance, but it was good enough to win man of the match, and he did record a clean sheet, so uh, I'm hoping that he gets in. He also kind of played a midfield role as well in this game, so uh, a centre mid version of him would actually be quite nice but um as i say i'm on the fence with this one philip max though got himself a goal and a assist in a 4-1 win for his side the goal was a penalty but still two goal involvements for a fullback is pretty nice so hopefully he gets in the upcoming team of the week he's one of them players that if he got like a few informs he could have a ridiculously well-rounded card that uh would be very useful in a variety of different positions the second page of defenders is a little bit more interesting and it actually features two very, very good centre-back items. So uh, yeah, let's talk about these. We'll start with Longley. He got himself a goal and helped Barcelona record a clean sheet in a 3-0 win against Real Valladolid. Now, I do have another Barcelona player to talk about in this week's video and if I'm being honest, I don't think two will get in, but um, I didn't know which one to pick so I've thrown both of them in. You probably know who the other Barcelona player is. We'll speak about him later. But uh, long way if he gets in this card will be awesome and that would be an incredible red pick to pick up on Thursday so uh, yeah nice item the other defender is obviously Inter Milan's uh, Skirinar he got himself a goal in a 2-1 win against Hellas Verona now the goal isn't actually the reason I've put him in it's the 7 match rating on Gazetta the goal is just a bit of a bonus the 7 match rating from Gazetta is actually quite strong and uh, hopefully that'll be enough to see the Inter Milan defender get in it seems we have two players called Messi in this video. The Brazilian Junior got himself uh, two goals in a 2-1 win against Parma. And he also got an 8 match rating from Gazetta, which is very, very big. So hopefully that'll be enough to see him get an inform this week. Now, the issue is, I think it was a week ago or, or two weeks ago, um, he actually did the same. He got some goals and got an 8 from Gazetta and actually didn't make the team the week. So, uh... Hopefully he'll get in this week, but um, as I say, with him being a bronze player, I'm actually not that sure about it just because of his rating in Ultimate Team, and obviously there is limited amount of bronze and silver spaces available, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one, but it was definitely one that I just couldn't not include with him getting that massive match rating. Um, Calvin Phillips is another one that I'm not super sure on. Um, he got Man of the Match in Leeds' 1-0 win against Burnley. I actually wanted to go for the Leeds goalkeeper, but um, I just didn't have space for another silver, so uh, I went for Calvin Phillips instead who got man of the match from Sky Sports in this fixture. Casemiro got himself a goal and helped Real Madrid keep a clean sheet in a win against Granada, so uh, maybe he could get in this week. One thing that makes me a bit less confident about this one is the fact that obviously he did recently have that freeze card, but it was a non-performance based card and it was a centre-back item, so hopefully it won't matter too much. And we do see an informed Casemiro this week. The other player on this page is Cadawere, who plays for Leon and... Look, if you watch this prediction series regularly, you will know I've been wanting this guy to get a special card for quite some time. 
Like I said, in many, many videos, I would actually rather he got a silver star item than an inform because it would just be an awesome silver. But to be honest, at this point, he just needs a special card. He's uh, he's killing it right now. He really, really is. A goal and a assist in a 3-0 win against Nante. An 8 from the keep. It's like Surely that's just impossible to ignore this week. Like That is ridiculous. And uh, yeah, I'll be absolutely amazed if he doesn't get in this week. I really, really will. If he's not an inform, he better be the silver star. And if he's not either, then like, EA, what are you doing? Come on. Ibrahim Wadji got himself a hat-trick in a 3-1 win in the uh, Norwegian Premier Division, so uh, he should probably be locked in this week. Um, hasn't been too many hat-tricks this past week, so essentially you would think three goals would guarantee an inform, so uh, we're going to feel pretty confident about that one. We've also got a potential second inform, Dia or Dyer. He got a goal and a assist in a 3-1 win against Bordeaux, and he also got a seven match from the keep and made the other keep team of the week as well. Like I touched on a moment ago, a hat-trick this week should guarantee an inform, and Sergi Canos got exactly that. He got three goals in a win for Brentford, so uh, yeah, I feel like his spot as an inform is uh, all but locked in. And then we've got Noah Lang next to him. He got two goals and a assist in a 3-0 win in the Belgian Pro League. Yannick Carrasco could get a second inform this week, and hopefully he does. His first inform I thought was great. A second inform, even better, and that would be a pretty nice card to get in your reds as well. He got two assists in a 2-0 win for Atletico Madrid against Real Sociedad but also in this game the centre-back Hermoso got himself a goal and a clean sheet so I feel like this is one of them 50-50 picks I definitely feel like one of them will get an inform this week it's just a case of which one will EA go for I'm hoping they go for Carrasco for the attacking option but um, and to be fair an inform Hermoso actually could be really cool as well so uh, yeah either all looks pretty nice but um, as I said, I feel like one of them will be in. It's just a case of which one will EA go for. Uh, the other player on this page is uh, Caceres. Now, this one is a bit interesting because, once again, we might have another 50-50 scenario. Uh, so, Ribery got the uh, 8 match rating from Gazetta in this game as well as Caceres. So, they both got the same match rating. Ribery got an assist in the 3-0 win against Juve. Caceres got himself a goal. So I've gone with Caceres just because of the goal, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Ribery in instead. Big win for Fiorentina, uh, that 3 0 win against Juve. So uh, we'll see what EA go for once more. But um, I don't know what I'd rather see, to be honest. Caceres, I guess, would be a bit more useful, but uh, Ribery would just be nice for novelty. The penultimate page is actually quite nice, if I do say so myself. Of course, I have gone for an Arsenal player this week, and I have gone with uh, Saka, who got himself a goal in Arsenal's 3 0 win against Chelsea. He also got man of the match as well, which will certainly help his cause. Now in this game, Granit Xhaka got a goal, Lacazette scored a penalty, Xhaka's free kick was actually really nice, and Baird Leno also saved the penalty in this game. So there are options, but uh, I've gone with Saka because he was without doubt the man of the match in this game, and uh, I'm just hoping that he gets in, to be honest. Will it be a great card in Ultimate Team? Not really, no, but um, it could be the start of something quite nice, um, especially if he gets a few more informs in the future, which hopefully he will. The other player on this game is Shalanolu, who got himself a goal and two assists in a 3-2 win against at Lazio. Uh, his goal was a penalty, but three goal involvements is pretty big, and a 7.5 match rating from Gazetta certainly helps. Linson got himself a hat trick, and like I've said a few times in this video, hat tricks this week, there hasn't been too many, so he should be guaranteed an inform this week. And also on this page, we have Hugo Rodriguez, who got himself two goals in a 2 1 win for his side. El Ghazi scored an absolutely brilliant goal in Aston Villa's 3 0 win against Crystal Palace, and uh, also got very good match ratings across the board, so hopefully this will be the week he gets an inform. Actually could have had one potentially the other week, but uh, didn't get picked, unfortunately. Also from this game, Ollie Watkins got himself an assist and was kind of involved in the build-up to the other goals as well, so he could get in instead. And a third in form, Ollie Watkins, would actually be, you know, pretty mad. Um, anyway, the other player on this page is, of course, Omar Osama, who got himself a goal and a assist in a 2-1 win. So we end this week with a potential record-breaker Messi. Now... This one's tough because, like I said earlier in the video, do I think EA will put two players from Barcelona in the upcoming Team of the Week? And to be honest, I don't think they will. But it was hard to ignore Longley, and it was incredibly hard to ignore Messi. Um, in the game, he got himself a goal and a assist in a 3-0 win, which is, you know, standard Messi behaviour, pretty good. Um, but the fact that the goal broke the record of most goals for a sing single club is just... That's a big record. That is no small feat. So that's why I can't see him being ignored. Um, even if EA don't put him in Team of the Week, maybe they'll just release a separate record breaker for him. But um, 
yeah, they, they, they gave out some really strange record breakers at the start of the year, so it's hard to see them ignoring this kind of record being broken. So uh, I'm going to go for it, and hopefully we do see it. That would be, you know, a really nice card. I know Messi just gets, you know, so many cards each year, but um, this one has good reason behind it, in my opinion, and uh, as I said, I hope it happens. Do you think EA will give Messi a record breaker this week? Let me know in the comments. My silver star prediction this week is the uh, right back Letizia, who... Um, yeah, got himself a goal and kept the clean sheet in a 2-0 win. And um, this would actually just be a really nice card for Ultimate Team. But there was a right back as last week's Silver Star, so that's kind of put me off him. So if they don't go for him, maybe they could go for another player in this game, which is Capata. Caprari, who got himself a goal and a assist from midfield, just in case they don't want to do two right backs back to back. So guys, there you have it. Those are my predictions for Team of the Week number 14. I hope you found the video useful. If you have, please do leave a like rating on it. Bear in mind, we probably will see um, quite a few leagues get more informed than normal this week, just because obviously some leagues are on winter break and some fixtures have also been cancelled over the past week. So uh, yeah, there is that. Um, anyway, in the comments below, let me know who you think will pick up an inform on Wednesday. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Yeah, thanks for watching as always and as always I'll catch you in the next one.